You may go no further. You will not enter Gondor. <laughs> Who are you to deny us passage? The king. Mind your aim. This is Legolas you're talking about. <laughs> oh. We warn you. Prepare to be warned. Oh my god, Gimli. You are you a army? This army. Oh. oh, so ghosts really can kill? Okay. Uh oh. God. What is this place? Master must go inside the tunnel. Can't go back. No, Frodo. No, Frodo. Shove Smeagol in there first. I wouldn't be surprised oh. if Sam's still following, but like at a distance where they can't clock him. Smeagol? Smeagol's on his fuck shit. Smeagol! Is that a carcass? Is this like a nest? Is it a spider? Oh, oh he's going down, back down. Oh. <gasps> please, please, please. Oh my God, Sam. it up and show it to him that you didn't eat it. Oh, I'm gonna choke that fucking golem out! <laughs> May it be a light for you in dark places when all other lights go out. Oh, thank you, Galandra. Listen, I, I didn't trust you at first, but... Thank you. What's behind... Bitch, is that a big old spider? Oh, I knew it! Ah, son of a bitch! Oh, sprinkle! It's like maybe it's holy water. Oh, Frodo, the world's too big for a hobbit. <laughs> oh, you gotta be shitting me! How's he supposed to get out of that? How is he supposed? Oh, fuck! How is he supposed to get out of that? You're the naughty little fly! I know this bitch ain't singing. Good, 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 good. Yes, Frodo. Oh. Oh. Yes! He does. He does. Choke him out! Smeagol wouldn't hurt, Master! Lie again. No. The no. The process, he can't stay with you. Turn turn around, he might just go at you. Oh, I knew it! Oh. Well, at least Frodo ain't have to kill him. Whether he survives the fall, who knows, but he needs to be very far away from Frodo. Holy. Uh, I thought they said he was alive. Thus have I walked. 
And thus now will I sleep. Oh, shut up. Why do the fools fly? Better to die sooner than late, for die we must. I don't like you. Bring wood and oil. Look at Gandalf out here fighting while that fool's up. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. Gandalf's out here, and everybody's out here busting their asses. Well, we might be screwed. No matter what comes through that gate, you will stand your ground. Oh, oh no. Uh, that's a tall task. <laughs> yeah, run. That is a tall mother... <laughs> that is a tall task. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Frodo, Frodo, oh, good lord, oh, sweet baby Jesus, sweet baby Jesus, Frodo, oh, why is it so quiet, oh, it knows what it's doing, oh, <laughs> Sam, somebody, did he just stab him, <gasps> Sam, Exactly! <laughs> oh, and then dropped him. Come on, let's finish it. Let's go, Sam! Let's go, Sam! Let's go, Sam! 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 That's what I'm talking about! Oh no, Sam, you dropped the- Oh no, it is blowing away! Oh, good, good. You got one hit. Keep going, keep going! Try to stab it again. Good. Oh no! No, don't lose the sword! You can't lose the sword! No! Grab it, grab it, grab it! Shit, don't let it stab me, don't let it stab me! Oh my god, that thing is... Yes! Yes, Sam! Samwise the Brave, Samwise the... No, 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 he's alive. He's alive. Come on, Frodo. Don't leave me here alone. Mm. Don't go where I can't follow. My God. Don't go where I can't follow. Oh, my God. Orcs. Can things get any worse? This fellow ain't dead. No, not dead. She jabs him with her stinger, and he goes as limp as a bone fish. Get into the tower! No. Right, you don't have to take him. Sam, why is you fool? Oh, shit. Things just got even more difficult. God, he's like, all this going on, and this nigga is. Uh... Tall is the nothingness that awaits you and your master. This is my hour. A flaming sword. Come on, I don't. I... <gasps> As long as Gandalf lives. Oh well, shit. Courage, Mary. Courage for our friends. Arise! 
Arise, riders of Theoden! Spears shall be shaken! Shields shall be splintered! And we got Ghost on our side, too. Right now! Right now! I have goosebumps. I have chills. Wow. Run right in them. There you go. Run right through them. What a scene. And then we cut to this freak. You know. Gandalf said how rulers are now more obsessed with heraldry and and doing things of the past and all this ritual bullshit rather than taking care of their people out there. Burn yourself alive! Don't you may burn. Triumph in the field of battle for a day, but against the power that is risen in the east, there is no victory. No, you son of a bitch. Get him! Wow. Oh, Pip. What the hell? Surpasses Denzel, son of Exhalil. What in the dumbassery? Oh my god, that bit. I'm not even, no, I'm not even gonna, as long as Fair Moe lives. Oof. little like aesthetic things I've seen of so many characters where that line is I am no man mostly Game of Thrones like a Danny like scene pack and it has it ah! <laughs> shit girl I was about to shed a few tears if you died oh no Oh no. My body is broken. You have to let me go. I go to my father's, in whose mighty company I shall not now feel ashamed. Aelin. Hmm. 
What a journey his characters had. Oh, poor Frodo. Stop your squealing, you dunghill rat! Like a stuck pig! Not if I stick you first. Sam! Not if I stick you first! That's what I'm talking about, Sam. Oh, Sam, I'm so sorry. Sorry for everything. Sam, they took the ring. Begging your pardon, but they haven't. I thought I lost you. So I took it. Give it to me. We need to destroy that thing. What if Frodo can't destroy it? No. There's still hope for Frodo. He needs time and safe passage across the plains of Gorgoroth. Draw out Sauron's armies, empty his lands, and we gather our full strength and march on the Black Gate. <coughs> we cannot achieve victory through strength of arms. But we can give Frodo his chance if we keep Sauron's eye fixed upon us. A diversion. Certainty of death! <laughs> Small chance of success! I like it. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Long have you hunted me. Long have I eluded you no more. Behold the sword of Elendia. Oh. What, 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 why are we seeing Arwen? Y'all better not touch her. Journey. I don't think there will be a return journey, Mr. Frodo. No, Sam. What now? Frodo, get down! Collapse, or did he drop purposefully? Let the Lord of the Black Land come forth. Let justice be done upon him. Who? My master, Sauron the Great, bids thee welcome. <laughs> the armies of Mordor must disband. He is to depart these lands, never to return. Oh, old Greybeard. Why does your mouth look like that? Bidden to show thee. Know oh. that he suffered greatly at the hands of his hosts. I hope Gandalf sees through this. Like... I always felt like he could feel when he's alive or dead. Like he can feel it. It takes more to make a king than a broken elvish play. <laughs> oh. oh! I guess that concludes negotiation. Okay, Aragorn. I do not believe it. I will not. <laughs> yes! <laughs> he's alive. He's struggling, but he's alive. And he's barely hanging on. Sons of Gondor! Of Rohan! My brothers! I see in your eyes. Fear. The same fear that would take the heart of me. A day may come when the courage of men fails. When we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. Oh dear. 
of this good earth. I bid you stand! Men of the West! Okay. I'm with it. You know what feels so underrated? Something I feel like I've never commented on. How strong he is. I don't think I've ever really commented on how... I've said how pure and good he is, but his strength. His will. And then his friend picks him up. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the Shire, Mr. Furl? I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Had eaten the first of the strawberries with cream. Do you remember the taste of strawberries? No, oh, Sam. I can't recall the taste of food. The sound of water. Oh, the touch of grass. I'm naked in the dark. Come on, Mr. Frodo. I can't carry it for you. But I can carry you. Oh my god. Come on! <laughs> not gonna get me <laughs> holy shit what a character oh my god no 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 i am not gonna cry <laughs> for frodo for frodo oh my goodness these two oh mary and pip Oh, God bless him. Oh, wow. Why isn't he dead? Oh, my God, I completely forgot about him. Oh my... It's all the precious! <laughs> Nico promised! <laughs> Smeagol lied. Smeagol! Oh! <laughs> Throw another stone! Before Gollum's ass shows up. Frodo, I know you can. What are you waiting for? Just let it go! I know you can, Frodo. I know you can. <laughs> Sam, you might have to help him. The ring is mine. Sam, someone help him. No, 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 what happens now? <gasps> oh, no, <laughs> I'm annoyed right now. Sam, you might have to shove both of them in. Did he just lose a finger? Shove him in with it! Y'all are 
I'm not fighting over this fucking ring. Oh, just get over him! Yo, Chip, I know this is. Relief. <laughs> and technically, Frodo. Frodo fought for that bitch in the end. But you know, hey, it's still destroyed. Oh my. Get out of there. Oh, thank you. It's just them. How convenient. Not, none of their forces went under. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I can see the shine. The Randy Wine River. Gandalf's fireworks. Rosy cop dancing. If ever I was to marry someone, it would have been her. It would have been her. Glad yeah, to meet you, Samwise Gamgee. Oh. Gandalf, you can't send one of your falcons to come get them. Here at the end of all things. Yes, Gandalf. Ooh. Very catness of you. Is he back at the Shire? Is he home? Please let him be in the Shire. He thought he was dead. Gandalf? Oh. <laughs> oh. Home. Oh wait, no. I don't think he's at the Shire. Look, at least it's over. <laughs> but it's over. We'll take it. My sweet boy. Sam. What a character. Wow. Samwise Gamgee! <laughs> what a special character! <laughs> oh. Oh, are they character? It's his crowning. <laughs> now come the days of the king. Oh. Okay, Beard. Oh. Yo, we're hiding her in the crowd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. He just went right for it. I'm with it. <laughs> oh. Friends, you bow to no one. <laughs> wow, he's like, I bow to you. We all bow to you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everything they went through. What do you say? You just drink. I like that. What do you say after everything they've gone through and seen? 
and done. Let's take a drink. Rosie! You gonna dance with Rosie? Oh, oh! <laughs> He's like, listen, I'm gonna make Rosie my wife! Where are we going? To the harbor, Bilbo. The elves have accorded you a special honor. A place on the last ship to leave Middle Earth. The power of the Three Rings is ended. The time has come for the dominion of men. Here at last, on the shores of the sea, comes the end of our friendship. We will not say do not weep. For not all tears are an evil. Is, why does it look like Bilbo wants to go? I mean, um, Frodo wants to go. He's going to. I had a feeling it looked like he. We set out to save the Shire, Sam. And it has been saved. But not for me. Everything that these two went through together. Oh. Oh. story will go on. Wow. What a movie. Why is the best character ever made Samwise Gamgee? <laughs> Why is that the best character ever made? <laughs> oh, Sam. Well, I guess all good things has to come to an end. <laughs> that was the last Lord of the Rings movie. And what an incredible series this was from the beginning to the very end. Um, I walk away feeling like this is a story that understands the, the importance of happy endings. <laughs> I feel like these, like the, the, the media we consume these days is so hung up on tragedy and, and tragicness. But one thing that I feel like as I was watching, I was thinking like when Frodo and Sam are, are like climbing up the, hit, the, the volcano and all I can think is this is a story that understands that if you make the, the journey as grueling and as gruesome as possible, as devastating and despair driven, that it's it's like a reward, not just for your characters, but for your audience who stuck through it. You get to see, even if it doesn't happen the way, or, or if the, the character's happy ending, so to speak, doesn't look like the traditional way, like Frodo leaving middle earth and not returning to the shire and him still having like these pangs of pain in his shoulder where he was stabbed by um oh my goodness the the witch king there there are still facets of frodo that are affected by the journey he's been on and all of the tragedy he's he's had to survive and endure 
However, he doesn't die. He's still in the space where he can make choices for himself and make something of the life he now has in front of him or, or just the, the journey that's now in front of him. But it, it, y y it's a story to me that understands you don't have to put your characters through absolute hell and then give them a hellish ending as well. <laughs> like that's what I'm feeling like this is a story that understands how to make the stakes extremely high and how to push push your characters to the absolute brink and and it feels like the stakes are high and it feels like the desperation it's like oh my god like as as they were um what was it when frodo and sam were about to cross to get to the mountain and they get caught like they're sitting on the mountain and these orcs catch them and tell them to get in line and they pretend to be orcs and it's like oh my god not another thing to me that's part of it it's like when does it end for them like it's always one thing after another the journey is so grueling so that when the ending comes it's like you're, you're relieved the tears you shed are that of joy and not just sadness like when i started to tear up was when sam's like I can't carry this burden for you, but I can carry you. And that strength, that will, there's something so tear worthy to that. Everything they've been through and they're still pushing through. It's truly a story that I believe is rooted in the the endurance of the human spirit, the or just well because they're not all human but it's just the endurance and the will to live is on full display here and the desire to hold on to that's good and believing it's worth fighting for it's worth pushing for not just for your not just for everyone else but for yourself too i like that it's not just for altruistic reasons like we have to protect the people we have to do yes that's part of it of course but sam saying you know this is the you know he wants to marry um Oh my goodness, how did I forget her name? It's probably because I'm sitting here an hour later. <laughs> it's been an hour. I had to step away. <laughs> so this episode, this episode, this movie was a lot. A lot longer than I thought it was. I didn't realize how long the movie was until I sat down and I looked like, Oh, you're damn near four hours. Okay, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> I was like, oh okay i was I, it's I, listen i think i started around nine o'clock and then i took a break halfway in it's not 2 30. <laughs> but then again i went and made a cheese sandwich for lunch i'm rambling let me get back but yes um sam i can go on and on about sam and the beauty of a kind of of a, of a good character good folk like you know how they said that you know how people say oh no that's good folk right there like that's that's family that's good folk like that's just good people that's the feeling i get with sam that's the kind of person who we say is rare and i believe there's truth to that but at the same time i'm like maybe they're not as rare as you think maybe they just haven't been in the circumstances that would demand them to reveal that part to themselves maybe they themselves don't even know that they have that in them but man oh man i hope you have a sam in your life i think everybody needs a sam in their life hopefully you can be the sam in someone else's life where you may not be able to carry that burden but shit i'ma carry you while you carry that burden oh my goodness and don't get me started on Gollum. you know i came into this movie hoping that Gollum would be fixed you know we'd find some like s like little scratches of Smeagol and there'd be some kind of spell maybe Gandalf can do a spell and save him and cha by the time he started framing Sam I'm like okay wrap it up one and done kill him I was done with Gollum the second he decided to like really start putting sam in the line of fire oh no 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 sam if you gotta if you gotta if you gotta kill him do it <laughs> but i'm glad that he he did find the bread and he went back up and he was there for frodo now frodo such it's it's interesting i didn't realize i've always spoken about how kind and pure and sweet frodo is and he is all of that but 
I never recognized Frodo's strength until that moment when he was just so exhausted and in pain and tired and he's still climbing and putting his hands into the gravel and clawing up and up and up. It's just, it wasn't until that moment that I recognized the strength that he's had all along. Uh, it's, it's, it's sad to see when the story begins, there's such a joy and effervescence to him. And I do think it's a, it's a, it's a nod to great writing and great acting that you can physically see how haunted he is at the end of the story when he's saying goodbye and for the first time you know we really see him well not the first time we saw him smile when everyone comes into the room after he wakes up and everyone's hugging him but i feel like that's a part of of relief that it's over like it's like this weight in this moment it feels like this weight has been lifted off of you but of course it settles and you realize it's not fully gone but with that being said, in the beginning of the of not this movie, but the very first, the Fellowship movie, you there was just this effervescence in him. Even though, even when things started to like spiral, there was still something to his face. There was a joy to it. But in this last movie, even after the ring is destroyed, there's something haunted to Frodo, and it's great writing and a great actor to portray that haunted look to him. Like there was something always there behind his eyes that really translated the change in him that would forever be with him. And you feel for him, like the journey really did change him on a molecular level. He doesn't even look the same. And that could just be time passing for, for the creation of these movies. But either way, it still translated well that you can watch the first movie i can still remember him sitting in the green grass and then him hearing gandalf and hear him whistling and he knows he's there and you see that beautiful smile in this green background it's so effervescent and it just pulls you in and you cut to the end of of the last movie and frodo's smile while still beautiful it's not as wide there's just something there that you can see the change in him. And I love that. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love that. Now, Aragorn. He's king now, y'all. This Aragorn, you know, it's interesting. It's this movie, this, this series, the story. I love that there's so many characters where you can switch gears and follow them, and it feels like they're the main character of, of their own story. Like when it's on Sam, it's like Sam's the main character. Like when Sam has his moments, like, yeah, Sam, like he's the main character and then you have Frodo where it feels like he's because he's the ring bearer he's the main character and then you switch to get like I feel like if you were to tell the story in in one character's lens their narrative is good enough and rich enough to support being considered a lead or a main character if you get what I'm saying, like, I feel like Aragorn's story really represents what I'm saying, where he may not be the ring bearer, but he, his story held such weight to the narrative to, and, and, and it was such a juicy story as well, where, um, he rejects his, um, him being heir to the Gondor throne and, just his entire story, him as a ranger, the way he introduces himself with the hood, watching them in that tavern. It was his story. I feel like if, I'm pretty sure there are people out there who do it where you isolate just one character story and you follow them and them alone. I feel like that would be so compelling, even if you didn't have the other scenes to buttress it. If you get what I'm saying, like, I feel like the characters, their standalone stories in a way is rich enough, compelling enough to, to, you can actually see them as being a main character or a lead in this story. And that's very well, well done. Now, another thing, uh, the character of, oh my goodness, why do I keep forgetting her name? Is it Eowyn or Elo 
Aelin? I can't, I want to say it with an L. It's, there's no L in her name. Shit, I, I gotta look that up. Cause I keep, I keep butchering her name. Aelin. Aelin. <laughs> I keep want to, I keep like, try to shove an L in there. I don't know why, but yes. Aelin, I've heard her line in okay so like let's just say you're on tumblr and you see a female character who like the one i commonly seen is is characters from game of thrones Arya, danny all of them like i keep i always like scroll my dashboard and i'll see it and it has that moniker but i am no man and there's something else i think i've seen it for the other like marvel women like I've seen that line so many times. So when he said it, I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. And then I, I, I'm glad I finally saw where that line comes from because I had no idea. I think it's such an, I, I, you know what? I can see why that line is used for so many women character throughout different stories, mediums, narratives, just these characters who, who, that line is so befitting to women who are relegated to a space that doesn't fit them. It fits it it it, it fits other people in society, but it doesn't fit them. If you gotta say, like you have certain characters where the traditional role fits them and they're fine within it, and it's not misogynistic in certain aspects, but it's fine for them they're happy in that and and that's a choice for them but then you of uh, then you have other uh characters women characters who don't fit in that it's not who they are and so they kind of fight outside of it and so i feel like that line i think the reason i keep seeing that and have seen it throughout years now where anytime you have like like a gif set or anything or like a, uh like a I don't know what you even call them, but like pictures that are people do so beautifully with their artwork and the the line, they just had that one line, but I am no man and you get it. Seeing her character, seeing that fight, I thought she was dead for a while there, the way her, is that her, was that her brother? I think that was her brother. No, that wasn't her brother. I forgot who that was, who, who found her. Um, wait, no, she didn't. Y'all, I am so confused. There are too many characters in the deck. I feel like this is definitely something where you have to watch and read multiple times to really like recall things. So forgive me. I'm so sorry if that's not her, but I can't recall if she had a brother or if the brother died and then he woke up and he found out his son was dead. Speaking of the king, Aemund, like I said, these names, it's a lot. Um, his character when we first met him he was like his entire body was transformed due to saruman's influence on him and using him and just seeing the journey he he's he went on between him starting off as he did and then being freed bearing his son then having to like lead his people away from all of the orcs that were coming in him making very sketchy decisions and then redeeming himself and then going forward into this movie he's really had that this is a character that really had a journey throughout the story all of them did mary and pip god bless them <laughs> gandalf is always cussing them out <laughs> everyone's always cussing those two out but god bless them such a beautiful bond the hobbits have and i'm glad that even though frodo went his own way in the end i'm glad that the three of them have each other still and they're back at home in the shire broke my heart when sam was describing all of the things that would currently be happening in the shire and frodo's like i can't remember any of it it's just darkness that is heartbreaking to hear that the taste of food the feel of the sound of water all of these things have been stripped of him and you and, and it makes me wonder if that's what Smeagol went through when he wore the ring and had it and and that's just what part it's what's it's part of what's led Smeagol down the road to Gollum. I'm just glad Sam had his family in the end and and got his happy ending and Frodo was free to make a choice for 
that was fitting for the life he the way his life has now altered and the things he's gone through he was able to make a choice that was fitting for him what a beautiful story this was a masterpiece of a work the fight scenes the battle scenes the the war you felt it you felt the scale of of everything they were trying to beat back and how overwhelming it felt when it wouldn't stop it was like it was always something else and just like i said it really feels like a story that canonizes the best parts of humanity that will to live and fight for what you believe is worth it your love the good children all of that was on display um screw faramir's daddy I don't know. I I have no words <laughs> for how he went out. Like, really, we're going through all of that, and you're deciding to have this whole ceremonial oil and wood. Now is not the time, sir. <laughs> like, really? Uh, at least he died. I'll, I'll take I'll take that. Him running off and jumping off a cliff on fire. I don't know what that was, but honey, as long as he died, I will take it. I'm like he's trying to. I, when they lifted his body, I'm like, holy, do I hear breath sounds? Is he breathing? I'm like, because I remember. Uh, oh my god, was it Pip? 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 Pip was um with Gandalf. So yes, I remember. Pip is like, wait a minute, he's still alive. Where's the medicine? And I completely forgot about that storyline because so much was happening. And then they started moving his back, like, wait, I hear breath sounds. I hear breathing. I hear groaning. Are we? <laughs> oh my God. As long as Faramir lived, I felt bad for that man. And that was a really beautiful scene when they were charging. Um, when Faramir goes off to try to reclaim, I don't recall what the, the, the name of the place was that they were trying to, to, to reclaim that they had lost when they came up by the water. Can't recall the name of that place, but yes, that scene where Pip is singing and the king, well, he's not king, but the Lord was eating and you can just I, I like that you didn't see it it was just song food and death granted Faramir survived but everyone else died and then they used their heads to catapult good lord I, this story was so disturbed in some ways but nonetheless a excellent story that you get it. You get why stories like this last the test of time, the care, the detail, and what it really is about and what it, 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 it resonates to that, to, to your core, because you're fighting for the, it's like every word Samwise says, it's the little things, it's the good, it's the sun, it's life that you're fighting for and humans and different races and species coming together to claim their right to live beautiful story i love this series truly thank you all so much for watching with me and if you like the reaction go ahead leave a thumbs up and tell me what you thought of lord of the rings down below and subscribe and I'll see you all for whatever I choose to watch next. <laughs> Bye, everyone, and I hope you all take care. And a special shout out to the patrons. Midgey, Jenny, Tawny, See Through Battle Monsters, Tyler, Juan, Vito, Freddy, Marcella, Gabrielle, Alicia, Carmdahl, Sushi Senpai, Cozy Cobra, Gazelle, Maddie, Victoria, Queen Lydia, Dexter, Chair Shark Cat, That Weird Person, Shirley, Salty, Cami, Wanyo, JK, Klaus, Cersei, Kacha, Nino, Christina, Donovan, Haley, Nicole, Lauren, Sela, K and D, Nathan, Casey, Liam, Pierre, Glitchy Glam, Soapy, Morgan, Jordan, Zach, Nandy, Jess, Alexander, Reen, Max, Ricky, Jake, Amario, Jammy, Jess. Jesse, Mate, Jalil, Melissa, Teddy, Sebastian, and Van, Crystal, Soul, Jacob, Rosa, Aslan, Jordan, Cool Gal, Nan, Bobo, Lucas, Maria, Ashlyn, Alex, Mads, Vivisha, Karen, Noah, Bree, Jackie, Sammy, Alexander, Erica, Julie Verschel, JD, Jacob T, Sarah, Melissa, Christine, Oog, James, Valerie, Julia, Oliver, Sam, Michael, Mr. Nobody, Jamie, Harper, Miss CJ, Caitlin, Velasca, 
Ethan, Nico, Emma, Sam, Lena, Jay, Arafinwe, Melanie, Brenda, Nate, Becky, Courtney, Asante, Mel, Matthew, Ted, Axel, Diego, Satina Moore, Kapatui Queen, Andrinic, Marina, Matthew, The Winter Times, Jenny, Zach, Dominic, Wendy, Ash, Valerio, Zachary, David, Kage, Hafmayan, Darren Queen, Jean, Nathaniel, Anna, Greg, Karen, Christian, Jim, Rob, Keen, p 3 nth Danny Girl, Jason, Marcus, Omar, Randy, Kuehler, Anna, Dwayne, Logan, Sarah, Alex, B. Park, Seb, Samuel, Vassar, David, Jaden, Viliana, Belil, George, Joshua, Lima, Borbin, Lisa, Stan, Barbara, Snore, Laramia, and Oliver. Thank you all so much, everyone. Take care.